What they count? My name is Pratt Pat Malabong. In this video, I would like to um, show you one way of how to analyze your game. So let's begin. Uh, so badminton, how to analyze your game. First, we're gonna talk about how your game is revealed to you, or how uh, your weakness in the game is revealed to you, uh, and that is through competition. Um, competition, as it was defined to me by my coach, and is that competition is like a mirror. The better the mirror, the better the reflection. <laughs> um, so, uh, it's like watching high definition TV. The higher the definition, the sharper the image of what you see, and that is what competition is. Is it reveals um, well, or it reveals your character or your game. So competition does not build character, but reveals it. I like this uh, definition a little bit better, but okay. So let's see what it reveals. It reveals um, three parts. There are only three parts of any person, and that is their mind, the body, and their emotion. And let's take a look, uh, let's define what those parts mean as it pertains to badminton. So the mind, or um, general knowledge of strategy, tactics, rotation, and um, continuing learning, or as my coach put it to me, uh, always be a student of the game. That means when you watch the game, when you're thinking, you know, always watching and analyzing the game, thinking about what's going on instead of just watching it for um, entertainment. Okay. Yes. Uh, the body. The body consists of uh, the upper body, the lower body, overall fitness, and it should be overall health. Um, upper body is basically your swing, your forehand swing, your backhand swing, um, different shots that you utilize. Are you proficient in your shots? Uh, are your clear or crisp? Are your smashes uh, strong? Um, your defense solid? Uh, your net play? Uh, all that is upper body. Uh, lower body, uh, your legs, your knees, your ankles, your core muscle, um, are, are they fit? Are they, are, are they strong? Um, do you have the endurance to go the distance in the game? Okay. And body, body should also include uh, general health, which means uh, at the time of the game, were you sick? Were you um, injured? that plays a part of your um, analysis of your game so if you were sick you have to understand that you know you did the best you can under the circumstance that kind of thing okay so and then emotion emotion um, basically means discipline discipline basically means self-control or the ability to control yourself and because badminton is a fast-moving environment um, and jet pilots will tell you the same thing, it's a fast moving environment, you must remain calm or you must be calm. You have to be calm before the game, you have to be calm during the game, and after the game, winning or losing, you want to maintain composure the whole time. Okay. Um, next, uh, what, what do we do after the game? So we look at our we look at the game and we look at the three parts and we look at the t three parts of um, ourselves and what we want to do is we want to keep what is working get rid of what is not working and add something new and this concept here comes directly from a very popular individual in our society and his name is Bruce Lee Bruce Lee, the martial artist, the actor, also known as Bruce Lee, the philosopher. So, keep what is working, get rid of what is not, add something new. Okay. Now, let's talk about adding something new. Uh, my coach puts it best uh, that practice does not make perfect. 
and I was confused by that and she said perfect practice makes perfect so if you're practicing something like 1 plus 1 equals 3 that means you're doing it wrong so when you go and take a test and you see the qu uh, question 1 plus 1 and you put down 3 you're going to get it wrong regardless of how often you practice that so perfect practice makes perfect um, also this concept of something new uh, Einstein, Albert Einstein uh, definition of crazy is to do something do the same thing and expect different results so if you want change you need to change what you're doing I hope <laughs> that makes sense um, thank you for watching yeah.